so our today's topic is best ways to keep size of the build small for Unity 3D. Uh, why this topic have been chosen? Well, uh, sometimes you can run into the situation when you uh, create a project in the Unity 3D, put some assets there, uh, you're designing your game, for example, and suddenly you decide just to build uh, a file of binaries for your uh, Android phone or for your iOS phone and you just press build and what? You've got 500 megabytes just for a few assets? Yeah, sometimes it happens and this is really very frustrating when you do not know what you can do with this, how you can reduce the size of your build. So let's uh, ask ourselves, why is this so important? Well, uh, there are a few reasons for that. Uh, for example, you, uh, any application, any games that you design, you want to distribute somehow. And uh, most likely you will do it using uh, popular markets, for example, Google Play or uh, Windows Store or Amazon or Apple Store. So uh, every market has its own limitations and we can see uh, that, for example, Google Play supports up to 100 megabytes uh, binary file. Other uh, popular markets has uh, different limitations, but the idea is that your, you should keep the size of your application as small as you can, because first of all, uh, it affects uh, how fast your the users of your application will get it in their uh, phone on their device, and uh, actually it can just make them to not download your application if it's very big, for example, and they do not have uh, Wi-Fi connections and. Uh, so the best way is just to keep it as small as possible and uh, as you may see uh, all markets except Windows Store uh, give very uh, strict <laughs> limitations. So it's as I said 100 megabytes for Google Play it's about uh, 60 megabytes of executables for App Store. Uh, however, you can put some resources and uh, separately from your binaries, and uh, the size of these resources can be up to four gigabytes, and that's pretty cool. Amazon also advises to keep. Uh, files below 100 megabytes. So what will be if you will exceed these limitations? Well, most likely you will get a warning, the user will get a warning uh, that this file is too big to download and he can change his mind. And that's what we do not want him to do. Uh, so. As I said, the smaller your binaries are, the faster it will download. And uh, also, the, <laughs> the smaller file will consume less resources. So it's also a good point to think about uh, just to optimize it so it load faster and won't consume a lot of resources. And if uh, it uh, does not frighten you, your, the size of your application, just think that uh, when you optimize it, you can just put more cool stuff 
inside more content and the users, the players of your application will be very grateful <laughs> for more content. So uh, Unity has a few uh, tools that can help you with that. Uh, the first tool is uh, free, <laughs> completely free, and is one of the best uh, tools that can help you to understand uh, what assets uh, gain the most of space and uh, where you should look uh, with high priority. And this free asset is surely build logs. So when you're building your binaries, you may see uh, in the logs that Unity tells you which asset takes uh, how much space and also it shows total persons uh, of the build. So uh, you can estimate how big this asset is um, and perhaps you can to do, so, do something with it, reduce its size somehow, maybe pack it or maybe put smaller version of the asset and well that's that may be quite helpful but surely uh, this tool won't uh, help you in all the cases and we will look into the other ways and strategies how you can reduce the build size so first of all let's uh, discuss what unity 3d 3d help system suggests so there is uh, An article in the help system uh, that's, that describes strategies what you should do to reduce build size. It's not complete and it does not help in all the cases but uh, it gives some very good ideas and uh, you should definitely uh, investigate everything that it uh, says so quickly we will uh, run through the ideas that it says first of all you should use compression for your textures where it's possible and you should not put the max size of your textures more than you need so uh, why it's so important because uh, Unity can store the textures in different formats for example it can uh, store them like a simple non-optimized uh, 32-bit bitmap and it will actually consume a lot of space and if you will choose uh, different formats with compression uh, size of these textures can reduce greatly. For example, if a non-compressed texture takes for uh, 32 bits per pixel, the compressed uh, versions can take up to just a couple of bits per pixel. So that's very big difference and especially uh, for mobile devices so there is even a chart in the help system that can help you to understand uh, how much space uh, your texture will have if you will choose uh, compression uh, for PVRTC or 
for a desktop uh, builds it can be different uh, so the size of uh, the texture is also very uh, important because actually if you have for example sprite and uh, there is a hero or unit on that sprite that will run in your <laughs> that will be in your game uh, a lot of space around him actually is blank and uh, transparent so it's not actually used uh, if you will put max size for example uh, 1496 it will be a lot of space wasted just for that blank transparent space so uh, you should look into your assets and uh, the resolution of your textures understand how much blank space is around perhaps uh, work with a Photoshop to reduce it if you want and choose a max size just as big as enough uh, so your assets won't be distorted and uh, it, you just ex should you should experiment with that and uh, see what results are appropriate because if you will choose very small texture size so you will have uh, blurred textures and that's not what you want so also unity 3d help systems suggest compressing meshes and animations in the mesh input settings and that's pretty straightforward so <laughs> Also, it says about animation keyframes quantity, uh, which is also, I think, pretty uh, clear. And if it happens that you have very small application, just a couple of megabytes and a few assets, and you want to reduce its size, you should uh, look into the following uh, paragraphs. First of all, you should avoid including system DLL and system XML DLL. Uh, these two libraries from the .NET they consume additional space and it can be maybe it's not as big as it uh, can be uh, for an application with uh, thousands of textures and sprites maybe it's very small you will gain very small amount of space for them but for small application excluding this uh, libraries can help a lot and reduce your build size greatly also by default it's uh, this option is turned on and it's better not to turn it off uh, unity does not uh, use all the power of dotnet library so it has its own subset profile subset dotnet profile and uh, this what uh, actually is included into the final build uh, this libraries are smaller than original .NET libraries and actually you will uh, also gain more free space if you use subset profiles and here are some other tips so perhaps uh, you can find them in the internet or somewhere else but uh, or you should very deeply learn a help system to understand that but uh, first of all a lot of space can be uh, saved 
if you will use sprite sheets for the 2D animations instead of single sprites. Uh, that will result in a very good saving of space. Uh, why does it happen? As I told you, every sprite has blank space around and uh, <coughs> this blank space, actually transparent blank space, consumes a lot of a lot of uh, size. So using sprite sheets will actually pack all the all your sprites into the big sprite or texture, whatever, and uh, you will get much less blank transparent space around your sprites. Uh, also, you should use your resources folder smart. What does this actually mean? As you may know, uh, Unity has some special folders. Uh, for example, assets folder, and resources folder, and some others. So, Unity suggests you put your all your assets into the assets folder, and if you want any assets to be loaded uh, in your scripts in runtime, you should use resources folder. However, there may be some uh, issues with that, uh, and sometimes when you put a resource in uh, your assets into the resource folder and use them, the size can grow up very drastically. So you should not use this resource folder for your uh, non-development builds, or you just, or you should try to avoid uh, putting heavy resources like uh, textures, sprites, uh, sounds in the resource folder because it will, it can actually have very bad impact on uh, the build size. One of the best ideas of course is to create a system that will uh, load your resources from your server and you will just distribute a small application that will contain for example uh, simple textures uh, and sprites and by when it will need uh, this uh, textures in high definition uh, an application can download it from your game server and uh, it can be done in uh, its background when the user is uh, doing something in, in your game uh, so it's a good idea to not to include everything in your in the build that you're going to distribute uh, on Google Play or any other market. Also, about talking about uh, textures and sprites, you can use Tiny PNG. As said, it actually does the same thing that Tiny PNG uh, site. It takes uh, any PNG file that you choose and generates uh, the files that looks actually almost the same. It's not you cannot uh, just look and these two files and tell that oh this one is compressed, but the size of this file will be much. Uh, it will be lesser than the original file. So actually, it uses some algorithms 
uh, that they don't actually describe this algorithm, but uh, it helps to save a lot of space and just using this asset uh, because it just uh, reduces size of all your PNG assets. Also, a good idea is to turn off mid maps where it is possible. So, by default, Unity generates mid maps for your textures, for your sprites, and for example, if you have a static camera that won't zoom in or zoom out, uh, you don't need uh, the mid maps for that and to be generated, and you can turn it off. So, because every mid map consumes additional size, and uh, the bigger your regional uh, texture resolution is, more mid maps will be generated and more additional size will be consumed. And there are a few other uh, approaches, ideas that you can use. For example, let's use stripping. And what does this mean? Stripping is actually uh, used to remove uh, some uh, methods, uh, some namespaces from libraries that are not used by your project. So if you use .NET, uh, you surely use .NET when you're uh, creating uh, a game with the Unity. Uh, you just use a small amount of uh, .NET possibilities. It just um, there is no use of the whole libraries in your build, and stripping uh, helps you to decrease size of these uh, libraries that are included into your build. Also, one of the most interesting uh, thing is you can just run through your uh, settings, build settings, and discover that you're building not for a single platform, but for two or three platforms like x86 and x64 and uh, you can just leave one and this will also decrease the size of your binaries. Surely uh, this also, this method will also uh, decrease its size due to reducing the uh, size of the libraries that are uh, packed into your build. And a similar thing is app slicing for iOS applications. It actually helps you to create a project for iPhone only or for iPad only and to remove all unnecessary stuff uh, from the binaries. So actually, this is the most uh, usable uh, ways to keep your size of uh, your games small. So let's take a look at some examples. I've made a small experiment and started with empty project and I've used Unity 5.3.5 F1 version. So I've, I was building uh, for x86 platform, not for Android, not for iOS. So Unity does not additionally compress uh, x86 builds, 
So when you build for Android, uh, just keep in mind that these numbers will go down because there is additional compression because APK file is actually a zip archive. And sometimes uh, difference <laughs> can be really big. So, but uh, just to illustrate that the techniques discussed are working, uh, let's see, the size of an empty project with default .NET subset libraries was 25.8 megabytes. If we will uh, use full .NET libraries, it grows up to 28.1 megabytes. Uh, so, as you may see, uh, this .NET subset is really uh, good alternative to the full .NET libraries. Uh, it works as it uh, was demanded and uh, it takes less space. So after that I've, ad I've added 725 files of sprite animation. I have uh, actually, uh, you may see that guy in the top right corner. So I have had uh, him animated for a couple of different animations and different uh, projections. So <clears throat> I've put all that stuff into the project. And uh, all that stuff actually took 13.5 megabytes of PNG files. So I've uh, imported all of them with the maximum uh, texture size as 8192 and true color format. And I've got just a lot, 267 uh, megabytes. So what does this mean? That <laughs> it was not optimized at all. So to keep our experiment, I've decreased uh, textures max si maximum size to 256 because all my sprites were uh, ha had a resolution 256 on 256 and uh, enabled compression. So I've got 86.6 megabytes of binaries and just it shows how important it is to actually <clears throat> keep a uh, resolution of textures and compression uh, small and uh, compression enabled because the difference was really huge uh, so after that I turned off and made maps and ended with 71.5 megabytes that's pretty good if we will uh, compare it with 267 megabytes that we have in the start, but it's still pretty a lot. So I've used uh, sprite sheets. Uh, that's one of the good ways to reduce uh, file the build size. And uh, there are a lot of animation plugins for Unity 3D, so I've had a Sprite Factory plugin and used it. It actually takes all the uh, sprites you have and creates animations, and you can uh, very easily create any animations that you need. Much, much more comfortable than uh, default animation tools in Unity 3D. And this uh, plugin also builds sprite sheets and uh, uh, when you use it, just ensure that uh, the sprite sheets it generated are also compressed. So as soon as, as I did it, I got 42 megabytes uh, size of my build. And 
it's almost uh, equal to the size of an empty build and size of my assets and plugins uh, all together. So this is pretty good result and it shows that uh, the best techniques are actually uh, keeping the size of your textures as small as possible using compression, using sprite sheets and uh, not put every, <laughs> everything uh, that is heavy into the resource folder because uh, in the last example I've put it in the hidden assets folder which is also a special folder in the Unity 3D and it guarantees that this assets won't be included in the, into the build. So I would want to have duplicates in the build which is which can ha as that can happen when you put uh, textures or any other assets into the resource folder. So actually as we see Unity 3D can give a good compromise between development speed and binary size and suits for almost any developer. Uh, it provides a lot of optimization techniques. However, if size of an application is very crucial, uh, it's better to take a look at another solutions uh, because .NET by itself, even the subset of the .NET takes a lot of space. Unity system, inner system that manage assets also has its own uh, nuances. So if you need really, really small application, perhaps Unity <laughs> won't satisfy you, but for For any ones that do not uh, have very strict uh, limitations on the size, Unity can suit almost anyone. So, do you have any questions?